Hi guys, Lou here and welcome back to Acorn Hill. Well, it's the third week of November and when that occurs in America, yep, you guessed it, it's Thanksgiving Day. Today, I'm excited to share with you a new item would be a good addition to any Thanksgiving table. It's something that I want you to consider and it's pork. Typically, we have turkey on Thanksgiving. During my time since I relocated and emigrated to America, have made Thanksgiving dinners, Thanksgiving turkey, from the traditional turkey 101 to the deep fried turkey to turkey roulade. Anything and everything turkey that's been presented in the cookbooks, I think I might have made it throughout my time here in America. Today, I want to put a Filipino spin to the main entree, the showstopper that we always wait for, for Thanksgiving dinner. Today, I am making rolled lechon. Lechon is Spanish for roasted whole hog. It is cooked low and slow over a pile of charcoal. Being a formal colony of Spain, Filipinos inherited several dishes from this country, including this pig roasting tradition. Conventional lechon is stuffed with herbs, spices, and any aromatic ingredient at hand. Any occasion is considered very special when there's lechon on the menu. Multiple variations of lechon can be had, with the lechon roll or roulade being the most recent. For our Thanksgiving roast, the ingredients are simple. I got a 10 pound pork belly from Costco, which I patted dry really, really well, both on the skin side and on the meat side. I used a paper towel to make sure that all this excess moisture is removed. Doing this allows for the meat to cook well and allows for the skin to crisp up as it roasts slowly in the oven. The next thing that I did is prepare the skin of the roast prior to roasting. In this clip, I'm showing you an implement that's called a set of felting needles. Felting needles are used by wool artisans, weavers and crafters when blending two to three threads of wool or fabric together, a process known as felting. This instrument has extremely sharp fine needles with fine jagged teeth along the shaft. They can easily pierce through the skin of the meat, provide fine holes for seasoning to permeate before roasting. The prepackaged 10 pound pork belly that I purchased had considerable amounts of fat underneath the skin layer. As I'm showing you in this clip, I repeatedly pounced the pork skin side up using the felting needles all around and all over the skin layer. This will tenderize the meat and connective tissues underneath the pork skin. But more importantly, this will allow the melted fat during roasting to drain through. Next thing I did was sprinkle salt all over the skin side of the pork belly. This required about a half a cup of iodized salt. The salt will season the meat, but primarily what it will do is extract all the excess liquid that's still inside and within the skin layer of the pork belly. And after seasoning, it goes in the refrigerator and stays there overnight. 